As education has become a priority for youngsters in Jammu and Kashmir, a non-governmental organization, Institutional Excellence Forum, IEF, is planning to reach out to them and guide them for better career options which will help them to earn a decent livelihood. Kashmir now brings you more. Youngsters in Jammu and Kashmir are getting inclined towards education and they have at many stages proved their talent. Many organizations are working in the state to guide students to choose a better career as per their skills and interests. In a similar effort, Institutional Excellence Forum, a non-governmental organization which plans to revolutionize education system in India, is trying to reach out to student community of the state to develop excellent attitude and promoting inclusive education among them. In the initial phase, the organization will be reaching out to 100 senior secondary schools to enroll 10,000 students in its plan. The aim is to glorify the pursuit of skills and the importance of skills through a high-impact direct communication program and to identify role models with exceptional skills. The IEF, with the help of local voluntary organizations, aims to set career excellence centers at various educational blocks in the state in order to bring effective career guidance to schools to facilitate career discussions between students, parents and experts with an aim to help these students in pursuing higher studies and acquiring skills based on their inherent abilities and interests. The program will also undertake teachers' training program to bring awareness about counselling and career fitment for the benefit of students and community at large. IEF was formed basically for two purposes. One is for promoting awareness in the area of skill development and education and the second one is having more inclusive education and improving the quality and standards of education in India. Yeah, actually when we <coughs> first started uh, IEF, we had uh, one single goal as to how to raise the quality of higher education in India up to global levels and so one way to do that was to give training and give certification for the teachers and trainers and professors in various colleges and universities and get them accredited to global institutes and universities. Once that process was done, then these trainers would go down and train others, other faculty and over a period of time, your teachers would be global and world class and therefore you can only expect then that students will over a period of time also inculcate all those learnings and become global and world class and you don't have to go outside the country and spend four to five billion dollars every year. Perhaps a lot of students can remain in the country and get the same standard and class of education that they would go abroad normally for. But uh, at the same time uh, we found an anomaly that out of about um, 20 million students who pass out every year, only a very few percentage make it to universities and colleges. Most prefer to drop out. So out of this 20 million, probably there are no jobs for most of them. So we needed to concentrate on vocational uh, education and skill development. We are going to adopt about uh, 100 schools where we will uh, set up counseling centers. Uh, we will also, it, uh, they will be of two kinds. One is uh, uh, counseling over the net through uh, one to many, like a video conference where uh, students and schools can log in and be and speak to counselors on the, on a, in a studio. And second is also uh, counseling camps where we get expert counselors who go and spend a couple of days in each school for a couple of hours and interact with the students. So that's one uh, uh, setup we are planning um, for counseling. As a part of that, also distribution of literature, pamphlets, brochures, material, and uh, our own uh, YouTube videos 
we have about 500 uh, uh, lectures and uh, talks and classes which is available in HD format which can be accessed by schools and the students based on the membership. So a mixture of multimedia training and face to face and uh, uh, delivery over the net. Um, I think three, these three things are going to help us to reach out and uh, educate uh, students in these adopted schools. Yeah, I think the problem with the uh, JNK is that they have extremely talented people coming out of schools and their education system, extremely talented. But uh, there's a lack of opportunity. So there's a match between the talent, quality and quantity of talent and the opportunities for uh, jobs, especially in the industrial and manufacturing side. So I think the orientation has to be that you have to move them from looking at jobs within traditional industrial and manufacturing uh, side to move them towards more service oriented and vocational guidance and vocational skills. So the key item here is career guidance and that can only start in schools starting from class 9, 10, 11 and a specific focus on class 12. If through these career counseling and guidance sessions provided by over the internet face to face uh, through uh, lectures, classes, uh, classes and talks and uh, Q&A etc. If we, through this we can educate and bring consciousness about the people that there are other courses, other hundred subjects which are available which could be fashion, photography, literature, hospitality, aviation, nursing, plumbing uh, etc. All these are high demand jobs where there's not enough skilled people and there's enough job opportunities not only in India but across the globe. If they can tap into these hundred odd non-science and engineering and humanities uh, oriented uh, subjects which are matching with their aptitude and their passion and interest, you will automatically find that GNK will land up supplying a lot more people in these areas across the country and maybe across the region and world. The same thing has happened in the northeast where for mainly 40-50 years the northeast remained within the northeast. The maximum they used to go to is Calcutta for getting a good job opportunity. So if you went from northeast to Calcutta it was regarded as very very big shift. But now you found how the northeast has gone spread all over India. We have they are not only in engineering, technology, management but they have taken over hospitality, leisure, tourist, uh, customer care and uh, sectors they have landed up more there. The same thing can happen in JNK and I think these awareness and counseling sessions will create a similar migration and boom for uh, youngsters in Kashmir to find out what other opportunities are available across.